Hello everybody! It's your boy Spud Cubs here with another propeller build. Now this is the last propeller aircraft I'm going to be doing. And if you do not know, I am doing these propeller aircraft in a specific sequence to lead up to a wonderful little propeller aircraft tutorial. Catch that coming up real soon. But to show you guys some basic principles of said aircraft and to kind of ease you into everything. I'm going to be showing you these build videos if you're new to the channel and haven't already seen these. Uh, go check out my other ones. Uh, you know, I, I do a lot of From the Depths content. I'm all about the From the Depths. I'm a boat boy. Anyway, for the rest of this, I'm going to be walking through this helicopter build. You saw the end product in the thumbnail. As you can see, I do a lot of replacing blocks. I will put down blocks like a two meter uh, alloy block like I did there to replace it with a two meter vehicle controller. Uh, it's it's just easy. I outline all of the shape of what I want. This isn't a replica or anything by the way. This is just me outlining a general functional shape, the bare minimum I need to make a helicopter. Because really all I'm trying to show you guys is the differences between this and the basic helicopter I showed uh, before. Uh, the, real, the real things I'll be showing you guys here is Right now I'm doing a tilt rotor setup. Um, a tilt rotor will allow a little more of our force from our helicopter blades. Instead of going straight vertically up, they will be pointing a little more forward of our vehicle, giving us more uh, forward acceleration. And uh, since in From the Depths you can't really reverse your control surfaces if you're going backwards, you really have to make sure you're going forwards Otherwise, all of your controls will flip. Like, you know, your, up, your pitch up will be pitched down, your, your yaw will be the wrong way, your roll will be the wrong way. And the only way to avoid that is to make it like a thruster craft where you use uh, power thrusters instead of uh, air-based control surfaces uh, like the elevators, rudders, and ailerons. Uh, but anyway, ensuring we're going forward and... and not only ensuring we are going forward, but making sure we are going fast is the whole point of the tilt rotor. We want to be able to go fast, and so I'm kind of making this more of an attack helicopter. I'm also showing you guys, you, you might find it interesting how I've been placing the actual rotor construction on the tilt rotor. It's a little finagly. I know you might think it's weird that I'm using light blocks and I'm going through the whole thing, but it's because I'm not going to be using a tail rotor on this helicopter. Instead of using a tail rotor, I'm going to be counteracting the torque of my main rotor with another main rotor. I'm just going to have it spin in the opposite direction, and that's all we really need to do about that issue, honestly. Um, so we're going to be going forward and fast and we don't have to worry about torque now. And since our main rotor is basically two main rotors, we have so much power in our main rotor, this helicopter can just be filled with DACA and not have to worry about it. Because, I mean, it, it, it'd actually benefit from being much, much, much heavier uh, because uh, Neater's atmosphere is both very shallow and very dense. So what that means is you're not going to be falling very quickly because your air resistance, even falling, is so great that it's going to be very slow as well. You're going to hit space very quickly and there's no very big pocket of uh, like a, a, a nice atmosphere where you're fast. It's like a, right around 700 meters altitude right now in meter is where you're going to get like flight altitude. But anyway, I chop off half of the uh, helicopter blade surfaces, not for any functional purpose here, because it would have gone faster and had you know more power, like I'm saying, with four uh, blades on each uh, rotor. But to just show you the motion of them going the opposite way, I cut it down in half, because with four, it would kind of become a blur. Um, it, it, you know, obviously, you, you just kind of see circles, and especially with video frame rate, and uh, the top speed of these being 30 radians per second, and then the video frame rate being 30 frames per second, you're just gonna see these go in radians. <laughs> like one radian per frame is essentially what's going to be going on uh, at, at max thrust anyway, or throttle, I mean to say. But another key difference of this helicopter 
apart from the basic helicopter I've done, is not only are we getting most of our lift from our main rotor, but when we're at speed, we're actually going to be taking a little bit more of the load off of our main rotor. I know, like, why do we need so much power, right? But we're going to be taking some of the load off with fixed wings. Now, the whole point of doing this would be to be able to attach a massive amount of payload. You know, just strap like a 105 millimeter mortar to the bottom of your helicopter. I don't know, put a bunch of large size missiles, some giant anti-ship boys to just blast anything out of the water. I mean, really, with helicopters in front of the depths, again, because the atmosphere is so thick compared to real life, helicopters, as you'll see here, they rise very quickly, they do not fall very quickly. And because they do not fall very quickly, you can't really go forward effectively. Uh, because you, you kind of, re re in helicopters, you kind of rely on gravity to kind of counteract your lift so that some of that force is just going forward and you gather some forward momentum. But in neater, it, you can't really gather forward momentum. Uh, so helicopters, it's a good and a bad thing because helicopters are even more of like a stable firing platform, although they're a lot slower and less agile. Uh, being so thick as well, they can hold a lot more tonnage. Because e even if gravity is as strong as it is in Earth, you have so much air resistance just holding you up like a big, uh, like you're sitting on an air pillow, essentially. You know, I like to think of it as the air on near in front of the depths is as thick as water, and the water is as thick as syrup. However you like to think of it. I'm no Canadian, but that's some good syrup, if you ask me. Syrup. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you guys that even though we're flyable, we can fly right now, uh, this is kind of just hyperbolizing the whole point of power on an aircraft, or specifically on a helicopter. So I'm going to put even more power on it and give you guys a view of what a helicopter looks like with motor drive and how fast you can get these things. And I, I'm, I'm going to struggle for a few minutes here in the video, um, I believe, if I recall correctly. I struggle to get it like uh, going for technical reasons. Uh, oh, yeah, that that's, that's the technical reason. Uh, it's too powerful, actually. Uh, so I have to extremely fine-tune where the mass is, uh, as well as the pitch of the tilt rotor. So I can't have it too far pitched forward, otherwise we'll get what we're getting right now, where we're just constantly pitching downwards. Uh, it is very, very overpowered. I, th I think there was um, one more main issue here. Uh, we'll get to it in the video. I remember there being something glaringly obvious that I didn't see, and it's probably why I can't think of it now. It's like a glaringly obvious issue that's just in the open. We'll see it when it's fixed, but it's the reason my helicopter is very unstable right now. Oh, right. Dummy me. It's because the entire build, I forgot to put the stabilized helicopter blades, and so these are just completely unstabilized and faffing about everywhere, and I haven't set up PIDs um, to stabilize it or anything like that. I'm, I'm doing everything by hand, obviously, since it's all just player controlled uh, right now. Once past Spud, you know, me when I'm building this thing, realizes that I should stop fiddling with every single block on the helicopter and just add the normal helicopter blades. I only need uh, like one on each blade. You know, because I, I don't want it to be too stabilized to where I can't move, I can't roll, I can't pitch, I can't do anything. Because that's what happens when you put too many uh, stabilized helicopter blades, or when you're using Deddy blades, which I would not recommend. Um, it would be the always up fraction. If you put too much of that always up fraction, it's too stabilized and you can't actually move. You can't actually do anything. Um, Look at Dummy Spud over here, even reducing the wingspan and adjusting the center of lift to try to see if that would make me more stable. Gee, what a dummy! I am I really felt so stupid. Especially since I'm recording a 10 minute build, I'm supposed to look all cool and expert and, and awesome sauce and everything. Well, Spud, that 4,000 hours in the game really shows. You really got some uh, expert know-how, huh? Um, 
Honestly, the whole helicopter was done like three minutes ago. We've just hit the 10 minute mark. The whole helicopter was done three minutes ago. It's just I got stuck on this stupid problem for God knows how long. But I'm going to be, I'm going to keep talking about why you guys should build new helicopters. We don't have any true helicopters in front of the dips. Really, I mean, I look at them and every single one I see, even the ones that are like promoted on the Steam page and in the, in the, from the depths trailer, don't actually run off of propeller blades. You'll see that I, you know, right now after I put this on two propeller blades, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it to work. And if you, uh, if you notice, sometimes I am using the brackets to automatically switch between, it's the bracket keys right next to your backspace. Uh, to switch between turrets and spinners, but you can also click your middle mouse bu Is it the middle mouse? Is that what people call it, the middle mouse button? Oh my god, mind blown. The, if you click the mouse wheel, it'll uh, pop up this cool new menu that you've probably seen me access once or twice in this build, where you can actually just manually select the spinner you want to build on, so you don't have to cycle through a hundred thousand little spinners and turrets. <laughs> And as you can see, this thing's going 40, 45, 50, geez. Oh, oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez, Rick. Oh, what is this, eh? Is this like Canadian Morty? Oh, geez. <laughs> what the fuck? But um, like I'm saying, the atmosphere is way too shallow. So we just kind of like raised altitude. Like we had a lot of throttle going straight up, but we hit space essentially. Um, yeah, that's... That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem. Hitting space is a is an issue. Maybe they should make the gravity ceiling a little higher so that things that are in like no atmosphere still get have to fall down and you need like some more like ion thrusters. Like a lot of ion thrusters to really escape the atmosphere, so it's really a lot it's it, it's so they sorry, I'm getting jumbled. So it'd be a little more like orbital mechanics. Anyway, the helicopter's done. As you can see it here, it works. I'm just fiddling around with it because it honestly reminds me of those little, uh, those Havoc brand helicopters. The Havoc helicopters. It even looks like one, kind of. You put the little magnetic weights, or do you tape or glue the weights onto the front of them? You guys remember the little RC things? This reminds me of it so much. Didn't those have coaxial uh, contra-rotating rotors as well? Anyway. This has been Spud Cubs. Hope you guys enjoyed the build, and please have a buoyant day. Why? Why? Why?